It's Monday the 22nd of September. My name is David Papier. This is the E6 Capital Morning Market Bite. US stocks were a little changed on Friday after Alibaba's strong debut was offset by falling technology shares uh, as Oracle and Yahoo stumbled, but the Dow managed to edge higher to set a record for a second straight session, closing at 17.279. Incidentally, Alibaba closed at 93 bucks a share. The S&P 500 lost just under half a percent to close at uh, 10 points over 2,000 and the Nasdaq Composite dropped 13 points to close at 4579. In FX and Treasuries, the greenback eased about 0.2% against the Japanese yen, moving away from a six-year high of uh, just over 109 yen early on Monday. Uh, the euro rose 0.3% on the day to about 1.28 after drifting down to touch a fresh 14-month uh, low against the dollar of 1.2826 early this morning. Sterling ended at about just under half a percent to 1.63 after it soared on Friday following Scotland's vote to reject independence. In commodities, spot gold shed 0.3% to uh, trade at 1212 uh, and gold also posted a 1% drop for its third consecutive weekly fall. Uh, Brent crude dropped 0.5% to $97 a barrel while US crowed for October delivery which expires later on Monday, fell about half a percent to 91 bucks a share. In the equity market this morning, Tesco is or has fallen around about 10% after it overstated its expected first half profits by an estimated 250 million pounds. Uh, has launched a review to find out why, it said today. And lastly, the Royal Bank of Scotland, uh, Swiss private bank Julius Bayer is interested in acquiring Coots International, a unit of Royal Bank of Scotland, but will not get into a bidding war for the vulnerable British bank's overseas arm, a Swiss paper reported on Sunday. That was the UCX Capital Daily Market Bite. Thank you very much.